What's up everyone, Leon here, back again with some Hitman World of Assassination. So this time I've been, well, been unlocking things. Well, it's elusive target arcade really that I've been working through and ignore structure really, just mindlessly going through, plodding away and just getting all the unlockables really. And I've just got down to the last one. And well, I've decided to go with the the, the Vita, the Vita. So the first one from the, the Vita is the liability. I've just done this one in the elusive target, so, um, but I'm gonna do it differently. So for this one, I'm gonna take lethal syringe, seeker one, and a concealable bat. See how we get on. Welcome to Berlin. I'll take the keys just in case. Wait for this guy to move out of the way. I think I'll... Did it call again? You know I'm going to knock him out. Yeah, it's fine. Alright. I'm going to choke him out. Just drag his body out over this way. So really going through like the elusive targets. On the arcade. It, this, it just feels like in order to unlock things really have to take it too seriously really you just finish them and then get the unlock kind of just have a bit of a hard time I guess taking them seriously really it just a means to an end really of just is Terence Chesterfield how does it feel to meet a man with a higher body count than your own? Really? Target eliminated. The fund is transferring payment as we speak. Higher body now count than 47. The are up to code 47. Bad man. So there we go, so that's a liability done. So yeah, so it's, I mean, does it even matter that it's a silent assassin? Right, so next we've got the Ascensionist. The way that I had in mind of doing it, I don't think I can actually do it anymore. I don't know if it's something that's been patched or I don't know if it's because it's an elusive target arcade that they've changed it, but something like there's a door on the right and it's shut and it used to be open. Might have been patched. I don't know. I, like I haven't, can't recall reading it in the patch notes. I'm going to take a lethal syringe and an emetic gas. I'll take that in the briefcase. We'll see how we get on. Good afternoon. So we'll swap that really quickly you want to get past I'll put me, my briefcase down first and That's then you can frisk me discussion. let me just pad you down here but really I mean like I was saying before in order to get these done and to get the unlocks done right, it. it doesn't matter what you, you what you do blow over enough Like, I don't feel like there's... This has been a dream of my that is Alison Moretta. She has an eye for faces. doesn't really feel like there's any need to take them seriously. Right now, and obviously you can. And there's nothing wrong with that. I mean, it's... This is the thing, isn't it? At the end of the day, it's just a game. And it's there to be enjoyed. And how you want to enjoy playing the game? Well... It's up to you, isn't it? Speed running, you know, doing things with limited or no weapons, tools, or anything. No HUD. All the information. Can't use your instincts. Wise. I hope I'll leave. I knock him out. I think I gotta let this weirdo have some space to... Okay, make some room for this guy. Bit unstable. Won't take long. Do you mind? Uh, I should have just hit him with a briefcase before. And I wasn't gonna drown her either. <laughs> but it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Well, it's fine. Target eliminated. 
I hope just now our late client drag him over here just in case. Shut that. Why are you? So unless something terrible happens on the way to the exit, that's the ascension is done. It's two out of three. It's on our way to unlocking all the extras. They got like a silent assassin. Yeah, like yeah. Right, so next up is the Heartbreaker. Yeah, so we'll take a lethal syringe, an emetic gas in a briefcase, take a croak of my but we won't use it. See how we get on? Welcome to Mendoza, 47. It seems you've arrived just in time. Your target is showing off the, the grounds of Vinedo Yates to his current clients and potential victims, Michelle Pacheco and Phoebe Morris. I doubt Newcomb's assassination is on the cards. So get the invitation. History, but given his intentions, make our it's better than to the target. Good luck. Uh -huh. so, there's all of the elusive targets and there's all the different little quirks that they put in in order to spice things up a little bit in order for you to play them I guess differently really than just you know rinse and repeat doing the same things especially if you're aiming for like higher scores I'm gonna swap this over I should have really done that earlier that is Philo Newcomb. Would be Romeo and we'll a bump into him. And well, gas him. And we'll just make our way to the toilet that he's going to go to. But for me, elusive target arcade. I mean, I've never really touched it to be honest, and. At the end of the day, it just seems like it's something that I just need to do in order to get the unlocks. Maybe I'm thinking about it wrong. You know, maybe there's a lot of fun that I could be having with them. But, don't know. Don't know. I mean, you can get all the unlocks without even doing all of the elusive targets. Like, all of the, the set ones, really. So... There we go. Target Some noise he made there. Expect the client's payment and a tasteful thank you card shortly. So instead of taking that exit up there, you, I think I'll go this way. I wouldn't normally go this way. A bit risky, isn't it? Especially if you're trying to keep in your suit. But you know, you're right. We'll only get caught trespassing. Fine. Which way? Go this way? Go this way. I haven't exited this way in a while, so... But there's like... I don't know. There's, it, there's no, it doesn't feel like there's a, an, ascent, an incentive in order to go through them all. Once you've got all the unlocks done. I'm gonna throw that there. Okay. I mean, I could be wrong about the whole working through them, finishing them all. I don't know, let me know. Like, have you finished them all? Did you enjoy? Working your way through them. I'm gonna get caught. Oh well. <laughs> so there we go. So all of the elusive target arcades, objectives, challenges, complete all of the unlocks. Yeah, just take. 
and then the final unlock. So I don't know, so let me know what you think, Elusive Target Arcade. I know we've had it for a while. Uh, it's not been something that's really caught my eye, or that I've spent a huge amount of time playing, really. Uh, it's a fun game, like going through and doing particular ones, getting the unlocks. It's nice to have, you know, more stuff in the inventory uh, to use, you know, throughout the game, really. I don't know. I don't know if I'll go and finish off the rest of them, maybe. The incentive just doesn't feel like that it's there, which is a shame, I guess, in a way. Or is it? Ah, I don't know. That's not a bit like. I'm a bit indecisive on this one. I guess it's something that you could go to just to switch things up a bit, do things differently. So the next thing that I'm going to work on is the escalations track and going through for the unlocks on that, get everything done. An absolute mountain uh, that I have to work through. Let me know in the comments, are there any escalations that you particularly enjoyed? Good ones to go for. Also just want to say a big thank you for all the love and support on all of the videos recently so thank you and if you're new here you know think about hitting that subscribe button and well if you've made it this far maybe hit the like button as well we greatly appreciate it and well i'll see you on the next one